What's going on guys? So we are coming to you today with the Kawitz HT-208A clamp meter. Uh, Kawitz was nice enough to send this out to us uh, for us to check it out. Uh, we're super stoked to be able to have a look-see and see what all is included here. Uh, comes in the box there and nice solid case. We'll get it opened up. And first thing we get is a user manual. So we've got all our information in here. And I've already looked through this a little bit prior to doing the video just to kind of familiarize myself with it. And I have to say that, um, you know, a lot of times you buy these things off of Amazon or something and the instruction booklets are not that great. They're not well written. This one actually is pretty in depth. Uh, it explains how to use the clamp circuits, what's right, what's wrong, um, how to install the probes, how to test things, how to change the functions, basically do everything that the meter is going to be able to do. And, you know, take the meter out, came with three AAA batteries. Uh, we've already installed those, got it set up where we can turn it on and off. And it is a clamp meter. Now, you know, it, this versus a multimeter, it's basically going to allow you to clamp on the load circuit side of a wire. Um, Primarily what I've seen these used for and what I like having it in the arsenal of tools that we have uh, Which we really appreciate because we sending it out You can clamp this on and see how much of an amperage load is on a circuit uh, Once you determine that the amperage load is less than what the breaker is tripping at or rated for That'll tell you whether you have a problem in the circuit that's being overloaded or if you have possibly a defective breaker that's tripping too soon. Um, makes those diagnosing things a little bit easier. Uh, this also has the NCV live setting on it to where you can spin the dial around on here all the way down to the NCV live. And you can wave this probe onto an electrical wire and determine whether it's got voltage on it or not. Uh, which is kind of good because that's going to give you the ability to say, I've got power on a receptacle that I'm fixing to work on and I'm not going to be able to work on it until I get the power shut off. And then once you flip the breaker, you can come back and check it and verify it. Now, that being said, you can still utilize the cables uh, with the probes on them. Now, these have got little protection caps on the end to keep stuff out of them. And, you know, another thing I noticed too with this meter and looking it over is these are... These are really flexible. Um, they're not like some of the cheaper meters that you get where these are like super stiff and you know it's just hard to use. They're they're really flexible. You can see how much they just kind of wiggle and fall. They don't hold their shape. I like that a lot because uh, I can't stand it when I get one of these and the cables stay crimped up and you have to try to fight to get them separated and everything. Um, it's just frustrating for me. So we're going to plug these in down here. They plug into the bottom directly just like that. Um, and then you can utilize these just like you would a normal multimeter. They've got small tips here on the end. But one of the advantages to these is they have these removable sleeves. You can pop these caps off and it gives you the full length of the probe. Uh, so you got a little bit more surface area there. But if you want to be more precise, you can get it right down to the pinpoints and you can just touch them together. Now this meter does both AC and DC voltage. It does 60 to 600 amps or up to a thousand amps. Uh, it'll also do Hertz. It'll do diode testing. Um, it'll do resistance and you can set it to resistance to actually read a resistance reading across two points, or you can set it up to where when it makes a full resistance circuit that it gives you an audible tone. Uh, I like that just for checking like switches and things of that nature. You can set the probes onto the terminals of the switch, flip the switch, hear that tone, flip it off, the tone goes away, you know the switch is operational. Um, it's got a backlight system on it. I'll flip this on so you can actually see it. Uh, you'll see here, really nice backlight, a lot of information, um, a lot of detail, and, and that's pretty good, especially working, let's face it, if you're working on something and don't have power, um, then you're not going to have a lot of light. So a lot of times I'll be working with a headlamp on or something, but this doesn't 
this is set up to where I can just see this without any light. Uh, for added feature, they've got this little flashlight deal in there uh, where you can turn it on and be able to see where you're clamping inside of a panel box or something to that extent. Uh, I do like that. It's not super bright. You're not going to be able to go tromping through the woods on a night hike or something with it, but it's going to serve its purpose. And then we flip it off. Um, now, going beyond just what it does as far as the true RMS clamp meter goes, uh, you've got the storage back here in the back where you can store your probes. That's nice. But then we can pull these out and one added feature is this little thing right here. Uh, I was actually thoroughly impressed with this. Even um, high dollar, big name brand meters, uh, a lot of times they don't come with this already. You have to purchase this separately. Uh, what this is, is this is a K-series thermocouple. Uh, it's two wires and it allows you to read temperature. Now I will tell you the wires on this are a little bit stiff, but that is normal for a thermocouple probe. It's not uncommon for them to be stiff and they plug in directly into the bottom of the meter just like you would the standard probes. Uh, we'll flip this around here to centigrade and Fahrenheit and we've got the probe. We're going to let it stabilize here and you'll be able to see here that it's reading about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 and we're reading about 21.5 seven degrees Celsius on the end of this. Now, this is gonna be able to increase temperature once it sees heat, and I'll grab onto it with my fingers and you'll see the temperature start climbing there on the meter. That tells us that we're working. Um, I think that's a neat feature that comes with this meter uh, that didn't come with a higher end meter that uh, was name brand and spent a lot more money on it than what this one costs. To have this feature is awesome. Um, we can calibrate a thermostat, um, you know, look at heating and air units, set this probe up right beside the thermostat unit and look at the reading on it versus the reading on the thermostat and see how much of a temperature variation there is. Uh, we can test temperatures on, you know, a, a unit that may be overheating. We can stick it on there and just kind of monitor the temperature to see how it's doing. So that is a cool feature that comes with this Kowitz meter. Uh, again, this is the HT208A. I'll put a link to it down in the description for you. Uh, they're sold on Amazon. It's got a rugged feel to it. Um, the rubberized case on the outside uh, really feels like it's gonna be durable. It's not super heavy, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's lightweight, cheap, made out of plastic. Uh, what little bit I've used this, just kind of poking and probing around checking outlets and things of that nature just to see how it's reading. So far, the meters perform flawlessly. Uh, we'll pop this back in real quick here just to give you an idea. Spin this over to our resistance reading. Right now it's in auto. I'm gonna hit the function button and take it over to where it's got the little symbol here giving me sound. And we're gonna touch the two tips together. We get the audible alert as well as the green light up there telling us that we have current contact there. We take it loose, it goes away. Uh, you can also do diode test in that function. Uh, it gives you that feature right there where you'll be able to read the resistance on a diode. Uh, that's an added feature that's great for any of you that do electronic repair like TVs or um, really any type of circuitry component where you need to test a resistor. Uh, that works out really good. And we go back to the auto function and it'll allow us to touch these two together again. And it shows us zero, zero. If I can hold it. Yep. There we go. And you see the resistance changing on the panel there. So that works out good. Guys, I, I like this meter. Um, I have to say what a little bit I've used it. Um, just you know, doing odd stuff around the house, utilizing it to test some circuits here and there. Uh, used it to test the circuit on a Streamlight flashlight for local fire department that I was doing some repair on. I'll link that video up here if you want to see that. Uh, but actually it had a bad switch in it and we were able to take the switch apart, clean the contacts up, 
polish them out and uh, put it back together. Save the fire department a good bit of money by being able to repair that for them. Um, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, it means a lot to us when you watch our videos. Uh, be sure, give us a thumbs up. Drop comments or questions down below. Hit that subscribe button because we're definitely going to be coming to you with more. And stick with us.